My baby is getting older. My chicken, the candy. <laughs> So today I'm just gonna go ahead and get my life together and try to get prepared for tomorrow. Today is Sunday, but we have decided to put the girls into daycare part-time Monday through Friday to give me time for YouTube stuff and as well as having time at home spent with them while I can still homeschool them uh, the other part of the time of the day. So that is what's happening, but the reason why today is a uh, Big deal of a day is because today is a preparation for them to start school tomorrow. It is Sunday, tomorrow's Monday, their classes start tomorrow. So tomorrow should be interesting, but today there's a couple things I gotta do. Let's run down a list. One, I need to really film, finish filming another video. On the other end of that, I got to do laundry. I had got them school supplies, so I need to label and weed through what I'm actually gonna keep because the school supply list is getting a staff list. I need to do some returns. I don't know, you're just gonna come along with me. But first, I need to get warm suited and booted because i don't know why i'm like this but in order for me to be productive i have to be really warm because i feel like when it's cold for me i get sleepy i got on my old halloween pajamas or whatever this is the nightmare before christmas it did have his face running across here but i cut it off because it was actually annoying because the way they stitched it it was like up here and it was like a big skeleton right here cutting off my circulation. I think his face still on my hoodie though. Yep. There we go. Don't judge me or judge me. I mean, I really don't give it. Let's go ahead and make some coffee because I can't live without it. So I'm going to show you also my the, the supplies that I actually got them. This is also going to be the first year that they are going to have to wear uniforms. So I have to kind of size those out. I did have to get some black socks because they only wear black socks and put uniform pants and their school shirts. See how it's fitting them. I need to put on the list and I should look now for belts because they do need belts because I feel like wearing uniforms and no belts is kind of weird. I don't know, maybe it's just me. I feel like I need lotion because my hands always look ashy. Look ashy, no, they ashy. <laughs> but look at my nails, I love seeing this. <laughs> Cause your girl got some nails from Timu and I swear, I am never going back. This is probably the only time you'll get like a close up of my nails. This is supposed to be about the nails, but why? Look at my, look at my knuckles, dog. Why are they so dark? Why are they so aged? They look like fine barrel of wine. I ended up getting this off of Timu as well, cause this keeps my press-ons um, together. I like that I could take out this little tube. I think it's supposed to be for crafts, but I seen it and was like, that would be great. I end up putting my individual nails on here. I feel like I gotta do one of these now. You see the snake one right there? Yeah, that's the one that goes with these. Like this one, this diamond one, this snake one. But this was like less than $2. All the press on nails that I get is like less than $2. And one thing I like about this particular one, and I have two different types, because there's two that look exactly the same, but the snake look bigger on one versus the other. You see this one? This one is a lot bigger than this one. And then this one is this one is metal and this one is like more plasticky. And I thought I would really hate this bigger one, but I don't. The only thing is me personally, when you start to get into 3D, they snag on hair and things like that if you're wearing weaves. But I do like them both. I also get little toenails. <laughs> don't sleep on TV as far as these nails, cause look, this is the only way that I'm gonna be able to wear long nails like this because the girl can't operate with long nails. Check out the school supplies. This is the actual overview of all the girls' 
school supplies. They had pencil boxes. I really didn't need this many, but because of how much items they got, I decided to get three. And then they requested tissue boxes for whatever reason. This is why I said I wasn't sure if I was going to keep all this or not. Disinfectant wipes hand sanitizer. They asked for a composition book for them. They asked for a specific type, but I couldn't find it, so I just got this. I wasn't gonna stress. Got all these. <laughs> I don't know how I got so many scissors. Another reason why I say I'm supplying school at this point. Blue stick, so I gotta break this down. Erasers, colored pencils, pencils, all these crowns dry erase markers, construction paper, and printer paper, washable markers, I needed their socks, and this is like notebooks, I don't know why they need these notebooks, but they said notebooks, and then a bunch of folders. That was an expensive order of school supplies I got from Target, but we need to get to cleaning this playroom. It ain't crazy, but it ain't together. This is what it's kind of looking like and things just kind of not in its place. I did get these off of Amazon. I can link that in my Amazon storefront as well. So if there's anything that you will see in that video as well that you kind of are glancing over in this video, I will try to link it down below. If you're wondering why this is in there right now, one of these are kind of taller than the other. For some reason, they like to step on this to get inside of the swing to push off of it. I don't know why, but they like to do it. There's a couple of things I gotta do before they get home because in one of the returns is that swing that you see hanging in the room. And it's the whole process of getting those down. So I'm in the garage. I took the ladder in the room and now I need like socket wrench and those type of things to get this stuff out the room. Yeah. Side note, if you don't got a bunch of these laying around, get it. These are important. These are the emergency tool, just in case you get into a car accident or anything with your car and you cannot get out. This cuts the seat belt, this breaks the window, and this is just the case that it holds. I put this in every car. This, and there's also one that I hang around all my mirrors in my car so that in case of emergency, you won't be worried about stuff shuffled around. You can just snap it off, especially now that I have kids. If an emergency does happen, you want something really quickly to break those car seat seat belts. Like you don't have time to play, cut them off, get that baby out. I need to know in my mind that them seat belts are coming off. So if you don't keep things like this in your car, especially if you got kids with seat belts who can't just get out the car, Make sure you have these. I don't know how I became an advocate of these, but yeah, just please do. Don't expect that anything will ever happen. Things do happen, and you don't want to get things in emergency after emergency when you don't need it. Like you're, you get these things hoping that you will never use them. No wonder why I couldn't find them. They were actually in the kitchen drawers. Now, when you see the ceiling, don't judge me. Don't even fix your mind to do that. You don't even notice the holes until you have to stare at the ceiling. So let me show you. <laughs> that looks so random up there, don't it? What I have to do is take this out the ceiling. This is the thing that holds sensory swing to the ceiling. But this one I have to actually return because it goes to the other one they don't want anymore. So... Go ahead and put this in the boxes because, yeah, like I said, go back to them. We just came back and something just happened and I don't know how to take it because I've been trying to low-key prepare for this, but it happened when I wasn't there. I told you the girls went to go oh, to church and out to eat and while gone, this happened. Mm -hmm. it <laughs> no, let mommy hold it. Show a smile. Look, you're missing your tooth. As y'all can see, there is another tooth coming behind it. So even though she is four, she do have another tooth. The tooth come out. Can you smile? Luckily, I do have, y'all see it? The tooth is right there. She lost her first tooth, so now we just gotta wait on the tooth fairy to come bring her 
her two fairies. So for now, I'm gonna grab one of my empty little cases to put her tooth and then at night, we can put her tooth under her pillow. Uh oh. Two fairy the pillow. Right. He lost her my tooth. So what happened? Did it just fall out? Uh, yeah. It just fell out in the car? Yeah. Oh wait. So then you spit it out? Yeah. And then what you you tell daddy? Yeah. What'd you say? You said daddy, my tooth fell out? Yeah. My tooth fell out. Can you let's see the bottom one more time? Open, open. Ah, uh, you can also see it at the bottom. You see it, it coming in? Yep, it is ready to come in. So, and it's a lot further now than it was the other day. So that tooth is ready to come in, and she's getting her permanent tooth at four. My baby is getting older. My cheek came out. That's crazy, ain't it? That candy. <laughs> so I guess we're not cleaning now because they're finally home. But that's yeah. still so crazy. My cheek came out. My tooth. My tooth. Yeah. <laughs> Your tooth came out. That's so crazy. You say you're special, one of a kind, one of the better boys. I'm on your level, that's what you say, but all I hear is noise. I don't have time for trying my luck. I've been too hurt before, you're not that special. Just give it up. I think I've had enough I'm too busy loving my friends I ain't got no love to spare for you I'ma be that girl to the end It don't really matter what you do Guess I have to tell you again Cause you haven't got the news Boy, you really need to understand Alright, so Clearly I just got finished doing the girl's hair Just did a simple braided hairstyle as you can clearly see, tired, makeup, separating, really just need to wash my face. If you didn't see the video where I got this, it has the girl's name on it. This one, nothing wrong with this one, but the back of this one, the bottom kind of came out. So this one takes a little bit to actually just have to do it like that, but it doesn't change the quality of the actual item. Hey Sage, cause I haven't seen you all day. Mm. Mm. Love on me. I want to put you in cat videos. Dang, every time. I got these two little gray thingies here. I was going to just stamp this, but because it is like some dark gray, I probably should just go ahead and write on it. But just, just for sakes, let me just see. I don't know if this is upside down. It's like a learning curve. I guess I did that right. So you can see that like that. As you can see, most of the stuff is right there. I didn't even put this in the most bag. 
I haven't quite figured out if I'm ready to give all this. And there was actually extra stuff that I decided not to even get at all. I'm gonna go ahead and grab their uniforms, extra undies and things like that and put it in their bag just in case they need it. After I do that, it's just basically waking up for the morning. It is 11.39, so it's pretty late. So I actually need to get down and get some rest so that I can be up by 6.45 <laughs> to be able to get them up in the morning. And then we have to leave the house by 8.10. So wish me luck. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.